Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher. And in this video, I would like to talk about a single mother who is dressing up her son as a girl. This is some wacky shit. I should probably start a series of videos called The Degeneration of Society, and this should probably be volume one of that. I'm not going to do that. I think this should be a standalone video. It very much talks about the nonsense of single mothers and why you want to avoid them and why you don't want to have them or encourage them to exist in society to begin with. That is a very disturbing story. I found it very disturbing. And it's also very telling about why you want The title, Letting My Son Eleven, Wear High Heels and Twerk, <sighs> on stage is not sexualizing my children, says pageant mom. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Tiffany Coker, 28. 28, so she has an 11-year-old son, nine months for the baby to gestate. Let's say he's not 11 evenly. Let's say he's 11 and some change. So that's 12 years, so go back 28, 18. So she got pregnant at the age of 16. Brilliant. Emphatically defends her decision to allow her daughter Crystal Four to wear makeup and skimpy outfits. I could give a shit about that. And son of Harvey Eleven to dress up. That I give a shit about. So here we have a picture of Harvey and the daughter Crystal. Now let me just start off by saying I hate single mothers. I, was, I wasn't raised by one. I hate the idea of them. I hate that they exist. I think they're a drain on society. I think that they, uh, they are, the, oh my God, I think that they are a blight on humanity. I think they do a horrible job raising kids without a man there to offset the craziness and the emotionality and instability of a woman. You end up with fucked up kids. I mean, without a man there to offset uh, a woman's uh, whims, she'll just do shit without even considering the consequences, which is why there's supposed to be a man there. He considers the possible future consequences. She doesn't because she laps, lacks abstract thinking skills. So what you get are boys who are turned into girls and a mother, by the way, who doesn't value men or male qualities because she has no man, she feels she doesn't need a man, she's a feminist, of course, because all women are feminists in the West these days, and a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle, so she really doesn't care if he doesn't turn out to be very masculine, or even if he's very feminine, that's great, because men are horrible and toxic masculinity, of course, so why not raise my son to be like a girl? All the while not realizing that she is destroying the country by destroying what built the country? Masculinity. So those are some reasons why being a single mother is a horrible thing and why being one should be discouraged at all times and not encouraged. So let's get right to the story, shall we? Cute little girl, by the way. Not sure I like the uh, makeup and all that on a four-year-old, but whatever. Let's check out the boy, though, shall we? Because I have no problem with the girl being feminized, but a boy? Hmm. So, a pageant mum has defended the decision to let her 11-year-old son wear uh, high heels. Why is a boy wearing high heels? And twerk? Twerk? Isn't that kind of a sexualized dance? What the hell is an 11-year-old doing twerking? Doesn't this show the mother to be extremely irresponsible and to be very, very uh, poor when it comes to decision-making? I, I, I mean, honestly, her judgment is flawed. Heavily flawed. Twerk on stage claiming she's not sexualizing her children. Oh, you might not be sexualizing them, but that's not even my concern. My concern isn't you sexualizing your kids. My concern is you feminizing your son, putting high heels on him and having him twerk, and you don't have the critical thinking skills to see that that's not okay, and you might actually be harming him, which of course you are. Tiffany Coker, 28, white trash piece of shit of West Drayton, Middlesex. Ah, uh, allows her daughter, Crystal, four, to wear makeup and skimpy outfits and son, Harvey, 11, to dress as Dave, the twerking businessman in high heels and shorts, 
from the money supermarket advert. What the hell? This is getting more and more bizarre as it goes. She lets her son dress up in some weird alternate identity for the purposes of performing on stage. Just some alter ego named Dave. This is bizarro shit. I, I, I'm thinking the mother might be mentally ill. But she claims they're more at risk from pedophiles on the beach than anything at a pageant. I, do, we, I, I could give a shit about that. Again, you're feminizing your son. You're dressing him up half as a girl. Harvey's costume was just a bit of fun, says Tiffany. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Again, this is just how women are. Oh, it's just a bit of fun. They don't stop to think about the consequences of their actions. They just think, oh, it's harmless now in the moment. I don't see any problem with it. Of course, I lack critical thinking skills, so I don't see how dressing him as a girl and treating him like a girl and feminizing him could destroy him and any possibility of him becoming a man in the future. Pageantry is just about dressing up and building children's confidence. Yeah, girls! <laughs> girls' confidence! Not boys' confidence! That's not how you build a boy's confidence. You get him on a sports team, like a soccer or, or football or rugby or whatever the hell you play there, wherever you are. This is despite the controversial ad generating 1,513 complaints to the Advertising Standards Authority. I could give a shit about that. I don't think you're sexualizing your kids. I really could give a shit anyway, pageant. You're putting some makeup on a little kid. It's not like she's walking around naked or anything. I, I, I don't get it. Maybe they're doing some weird dancing that's sexual. I, I, I don't know. Then it would maybe be sexualizing, but I could really care less. Uh, my problem is with the boy being turned into a girl. That's what I have a problem with, with some viewers suggesting it was homophobic. Uh, this is just a bunch of young social justice warrior single mommies uh, that they are too stupid to realize that, no, it's not homophobic. A bunch of morons. They see fucking homophobia and, femi uh, and racism and sexism everywhere they look and could encourage hate crimes, making it the most... Complained about commercial in 2016. It's received 455 complaints in 2017, making it the most complained advert of the year so far. Again, I could give a shit. And here is what I have a problem with. Yes, that's right. Her son Harvey is dressed like a freak. Look at this weird shit. This is one of the most bizarre-looking pictures I've ever seen. So the boy's wearing a, a, a jacket. A suit jacket, a tie, a dress shirt, and then his bare legs are showing, and he's wearing high heels and some very, very skimpy uh, uh, pants that likely show ash cheek. This is so bizarre. I don't understand this. What the hell is she doing dressing her son up and having to go to a pageant and perform wearing legless, uh, oh, these, these super short shorts and high heels? This is insanity. And this is, of course, the U.K., this is Britain, which is one of the most feminist countries on the world, in the world, behind Sweden, of course, and Germany, and, and Canada. They're all kind of uh, in the same area, although I'd say Sweden is uh, worse. <laughs> uh, Canada and Australia and Britain, eh, they're kind of competing for uh, uh, second place. But anyway, this is pretty bad. And maybe Germany yeah, threw that in there, too. All those are competing for second place. But anyway, this is really, really disturbing. This picture is, I find it very disturbing. What the fuck? So strange. I mean, what is this mother doing to this kid? This, this woman must be like a total moron or something. Low IQ, inbred moron. Oh, I just had a whim. I just felt like putting some high heels on him and, and put him in some shorts and be in the pageant with his sister. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Give me some free food. Where's my welfare money? How stupid can you be? What is this? Uh, this is such a bizarre story. I'm really having a hard time even pinning down. Uh, 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 you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strange. I'm lost. I'm. I'm. I'm I, there's no words. I, I'm at a loss for words for once. The article continues with this fat warthog of a single mother saying, "My kids love doing pageants, and dressing like Dave was just a laugh." Said Tiffany. Pageants are a very controlled environment. There is strict security, making them safe spaces where people go to enjoy themselves. You have to pay to enter and have a kid with you. It's all very above board. Children aren't being sexualized these pageants. Kids wear skimpier outfits on the beach. <sighs> what, what really disturbs me isn't what she's saying as much as it is what she isn't saying and what nobody else is saying. What the fuck are boys being dressed up as women for at beauty pageants and strutting around in high heels and short shorts? What the fuck is going on? 
Why is it acceptable to dress boys up like that and treat them like women and destroy their masculinity? Why is that acceptable? And why does nobody say anything? And look at this woman. 28? I would have guessed she was 40. She's disgusting looking. My God, how many drugs and how much alcohol have you imbibed, lady, to look like that? You hit the wall years ago. Holy shit, 28? Full-time mom. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, you know what that means. Welfare mother. That's another one of my many objections to single mothers. They suck away most of the fucking welfare money, and they don't contribute anything. They essentially allow the state to flip the bill for the kid, which means that the mother doesn't need a father in the kid's life so she can dress her son up in short shorts and then put on high heels and perform like some kind of faggot in a fucking uh, 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 pageant with girls. Ay, ay, ay. Who plans to take a job when Crystal turns five? Oh, yeah, no job, of course. Uh, let the state take care of you, yeah. Introduce her children to the competitions after watching Blinging Up Baby, which took viewers behind the scenes of children's pageants. Yeah, this pathetic loser of a woman whose whole claim to fame is that she has a womb that actually functions, functions a little too well, I might add, uh, was able to dress her kids up and put them in a pageant and live vicariously through them. Ooh, what a loser. I contacted a mom on Facebook who I'd seen on Blinging Up Baby. She explained she was lovely and told me all about the pageants, what to do and how to get involved. Tiffany asked her, Mom, Evelyn Coker, 59. Oh, 59. Oh, my. Jeez, like, so 59. Hmm. Well, let's do the math, shall we? Okay, so at least the mother was around 30 when, 31, when she had her daughter, a reasonable age. So this woman's just uh, uh, irresponsible. We can't blame it on her mother. Usually it's that's the case, though. Somebody has a, a kids at a very young age, it's often the case that their mother also was a teenage a teenager having kids. That's usually the case. Uh, what she thought about pageants, initially thinking Crystal, who is already a keen dancer, could compete. At the four-year-old, a keen dancer? What are you talking about, keen dancer? Yeah, all kids are keen dancers. Jesus Christ, when I was four or five years old, I was flipping around in a fucking family room. I thought it was some kind of great... <laughs> A disco dancer. Ay, ay, ay. You gotta be kidding me. I sucked. But I thought I was great. Yeah, every kid thinks they're a keen dancer. Ah, look at this. Eh, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of skimpy outfit there. But, I mean, I don't... I wouldn't necessarily say that sexualizing a kid. I mean, I don't see the problem. It doesn't seem like too big a deal. I think people become busybodies. I could give a shit about that anyway. I'm I'm concerned about the boy. If you could call him a boy. I don't think he's a boy anymore. I'm not sure he qualifies as a man. But Evelyn suggested Harvey might enjoy them too. And after both children expressed an interest, yeah, psh, he has expressed an interest. Yeah, you've raised him to be a fucking homo. You've raised him to be like a girl. You've raised him to be like another fucking Herbert Hoover who's going to be walking around in his office when he's a grown man uh, wearing fishnets and high heels. Psh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're raising a cross-dresser, lady. This is why we have so many of these freaking transsexuals these days, because lots of women, lots of single women, lots of single mothers raising kids, emasculating the men, making them into feminized versions of men, and then those men grow up with a self-hatred, uh, uh, they, they hate masculinity, and they see the advantages of being a girl, and they hate themselves, and so they want to be girls, and so some of these idiots are actually going to get their cocks chopped off and then shoot themselves in the fucking head when they realize they can't get their cocks back. <sighs> oy, oy, oy. She entered them in their first pageant in Kent in June. Krista was awarded queen placement. Oh, big Fat, disgusting Jabba the Hutt sister's mommy <laughs> yeah, was uh, very proud that her not-so-Jabba the Hutt-looking daughter won an award. Ooh, I can live vicariously through my child because I'm a big, fat pig, and I can never win a pageant, but my daughter won a pageant. Ooh, it makes me feel so good inside. Well, Harvey was awarded ultimate king. He was, uh, uh, what? King? Don't you mean Queen? as he strutted around in his short shorts and fucking high heels, meaning they were both rated very highly. Ooh. Why don't you put him on a fucking football pitch, honey? Why don't you put him in a fucking game or some kind of extracurricular activity that will actually influence and enhance his masculinity and give him real confidence? 
Oh, and, and, and feed his masculinity. No, 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 we can't have that. I have to make him as much of a girl as possible. Tiffany, who is no longer with either of her children's da dads. Dads? W w w what? So each of these kids has a different father. So they're half siblings. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, a dummy riding the cock carousel who's never heard of a condom or birth control. I see. Very typical. It was a proud moment for us all and really gave them the pageant bug. It gave you the pageant bug, bitch. I guarantee you these kids could give a fuck. They've taken part in five now and plan to enter more. What are we talking about, plan to... Yeah, yeah, what do you mean they plan? Bitch, she's four. He's 11. They don't have any plans. And if they're, do they're doing this shit, if they say they want to, it's because they want to make you happy, not because they actually want to do it. And maybe the four-year-old likes it. Who knows? She likes the attention. Eh, it's a little girl. Girls love attention. But the boy? <laughs> I guarantee you he doesn't give a shit one way or the other except to make you happy, okay? And get your approval. They don't just do it to win, though. They enjoy taking part, even if they don't win. All right, yeah, now you're just telling yourself uh, what you want to believe. Even if they don't win, they get sashes. Ooh. Yeah, it makes me think of the word sachet. I can imagine this boy sacheting around in his high heels. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think I can keep my fucking lunch down. Even if they don't win, they get sashes and crowns and have made friends. Ooh. Yeah, and look at all those wonderful sashes and prizes that the boy has. Yeah, I think he would much rather have a trophy uh, from fucking rugby or something like that than all that shit. You dumb bitch. I wonder if his friends know what he's doing. Wouldn't they laugh at him and beat him up? I mean, I bet he's getting beat up at school. If he's not, he should be getting beat up, okay? And there's a reason that people bully other people. Okay, some bullying is wrong, but this shit, this kid should get the crap kicked out of him. Sashaying around in fucking high heels. Are you kidding me? Being a pageant mom has also opened up a whole new social life for Tiffany. Oh, yeah, four-year-olds, they need a really robust social life. <laughs> Outside of watching SpongeBob, she said, I've made friends with some of the other pageant moms, and we now talk regularly. Uh-huh. Oh, right, Tiffany is the mother. I I I'm losing track. I'm, I'm too focused on the boy and how he's being abused, so I totally lost track of the name of the dumb fucking cunt mother and little daughter. They're, th these two women, or the, the, the little girl and the grown, dumbass woman, if you could call her woman, uh, mean nothing to me. Okay, so that's the mother. What the fuck do I care about her new social life? Jesus Christ, she needs to use her kids as pawns to get some kind of social life? Bitch, please, let your kids live their life. Encourage them to have their own interests. Don't be pushing them into this stupid shit. Of course, you're a single mother, so you are totally, completely selfish and you don't care about your kids, except what they can do for you. We discuss pageants, but other things too, just chatting about our day. Yeah, good for you! Despite taking up to an hour and a half to get ready and sacrificing their weekends to travel across the UK to pageants, the children still love doing them. No, 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 no. They tell you they love doing them because they want you to love them. And you're a single mother, so they're getting about half of the love and attention they actually need. And no, they need a husband. They need a fucking father. You need to find a husband. Of course, you're a big, fat, ugly slob. What man would want to marry your big hippopotamus ass? None. But you cannot be both a mother and a father. I hate that shit when I hear that. I'm both. I do two jobs and I kick ass. Yeah, right. Spare me. <laughs> and here's the little girl going through the motions. Her, her eyes look vacant to me, like there's no soul inside them, like she's somewhere else. She's just going through the motions for mommy, you can tell. Tiffany goes on to say, Crystal wears a dress, or a fancy dress costume, a hairpiece, and a bit of makeup. It's an awful lot of effort to get these kids ready. Why doesn't this woman take the effort that she's putting into having these stupid pageants on the weekend and paying? And how she, by the way, how is she paying for these costumes for these kids? And you know these contests, they have entry fees, and it takes gas and fuel and a car to get to them. That's a lot of money. That's got to be money she's stealing from the state. Oh, excuse me, getting in welfare. Yeah, it's stealing. Why doesn't she use the time that she's investing in this stupid shit to get a fucking job? <laughs> Why does she use it to get a job? Oh, right, she can. She's got the four-year-old. Oh, oh, she, the kid's not in school yet, I see. But she's got a mother. She's got a mother. She could put her with the, oh, maybe the mother works. Who knows? But this is b bullshit. 
This, this costs a lot of money here. And the state is paying for this shit. Ugh. Come out of your responsible. I put fake tan on her once, that's all. But there's something, but there's something a bit off-putting about fake tan on a four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> I put a bit of makeup on her, though. Oh, yeah, God. And, and, and look at this fancy boy. <laughs> Dressed up in a purple suit. And purple sequins. Oh, my God. And a purple hat. I mean, are you, are you, is he supposed to be an entertainer or a pimp, honey? This is really disturbing stuff. He even looks gay. At 11 years old, he might already be gay. She might have turned him into a queer. And, and I'm not even sure if queer technically means gay anymore. It seems like it's been changed to mean a guy that dresses up in dresses and shit, but he's still got a beard and shit and looks like a man and doesn't really try to feminize himself too much and is likes guys or doesn't, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the left has taken so many words and changed them around. I don't know what the fuck they mean anymore. This is very disturbing stuff. His mom says Harvey loves performing on stage. I doubt that. I think he does what mommy wants to get her approval. Meanwhile, as well as competing as Dave, her son Harvey has dressed up as a flamboyant singer, Boy George. Oh, my God. Boy, you do know that Boy George is a homo. Boy George was a guy who, back in the 80s, was a popular kind of pop singer dude. He was a guy that kind of was like androgynous, but he dressed up as like a woman and wore makeup and all that. And he was a fag. He's, he's alive still. You know, he's alive today. But the guy is 100% gay. I don't know if the mother knows this or not. I, maybe she wants her son to be gay. I really don't know. This is really disturbing. She's doing everything she can to feminize her son, even dressing him up and naming him after a guy from a, a singer in the 80s who's a fag and dressed up as women. Hi yi yi. Dressed up as a woman. This is frightening stuff. He's fine with it, Tiffany explained. He's 11. He'd be fine with anything. You could put a fucking meatloaf on his head <laughs> and strut him around on stage with a meatloaf tied to his fucking head and a steak hand around, hanging around his neck. And have him dance around as the dancing pork chopper, dancing meat man. He wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> he wouldn't care. He, he'd be fine with whatever, whatever you fucking tell him to do. At 11 years old, a kid with no father who's totally reliant on you for support and approval is going to do whatever the fuck you tell him to do. And he's going he's gonna to do whatever he thinks will make you happy. He loves it. I doubt it. I, he's probably apathetic or, you know, oh, he loves it. He loves making you happy, babe. You fat pig. That's what he likes. Making you happy. Pageant dresses go... Holy shit. Pageant dresses can cost up to 1,000 pounds new, but Tiffany spends between 50 and 100 on Crystal's frocks. Where's she getting this money? She has no job. She's taking support money from the state and using it to buy pageant dresses? Why isn't she buying shit for these kids or putting it in some kind of savings account or something or saving the money? This woman is the height of irresponsibility, and she's the perfect example of what all single mothers are like, or virtually all of them. Which she buys secondhand. That's still a lot of money. This woman's doing fucking pageants every week. From mums whose kids have outgrown them. And her mom, Evelyn, treats them all by paying... Uh, <laughs> treats them all by paying any other pageant costs. Oh, I see. So not only does this woman get money from the state, and she's taken care of by the state, but the mother is enabling her daughter to waste money and time and feminize her son. Lovely. It is expensive, Tiffany explained, and you have no job. <laughs> it costs up to 60 pounds a child dinner. As I said, there were entry fees, so that's 120 right there, 50 to 100 per outfit, and she's wearing more than one outfit per friggin' pageant. So just one pageant, say three outfits, uh, uh, 150, 200 pounds, maybe uh, more. Six, she's talking about 300 pounds just for the daughter. Holy shit. You have no job! But it's grandma's treat for her grandkids. And gr I, I doubt grandma's made of money. The mother's white trash. I doubt the daughter... I mean, the daughter's white trash. The mother can't be much better. They love it, mum. And I love seeing them having fun. Lady. Oh, I, can't, I can't watch anymore. I can't comment anymore. This is really disturbing to me. And guys... Those of you who missed my earlier videos about single mothers, I suggest you go back through my video library and check them out. There's some of my earlier videos about single mothers. They are the worst. They are the most irresponsible human beings on the planet. I mean, just look at this picture. <laughs> and this picture is worth a thousand words. I don't have to say anymore. This is single mothers and 
their decision-making skills at work. All typified in this picture. I am the MGTOW philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.